the rivals from across the Red River square off Tuesday night. Unranked Texas travels on the road to Norman to battle number 17 Oklahoma. Both teams are 17-8 on the year, but OU sits at 8-5 in conference play, while the Longhorns are at 6-6. Six six. But the Horns, they're on the rise. They're on a three-game win streak, while the Sooners just had their five-game win streak snapped at Kansas State on Saturday. Going into the game, who has the edge, Wendell? Well, it's tough to keep a winning streak going in the Big 12. Just ask the Sooners. They got swept by K-State this season with Saturday's loss in Manhattan. Now, Texas has just been grinding out wins. None of the last three have been works of art by any stretch of the imagination. A big reason for that is that UT concentrates on defense and rebounding. The Longhorns are fourth nationally in limiting foes to 36% shooting, and they are second in rebounding margin. There's no denying Texas has size. They've held four straight opponents below 40% shooting. Meanwhile, Oklahoma's Buddy Heald leads the league in scoring with just over 19 points per game. Can the Longhorns shut down Buddy? Well, if they're going to stay in that zone, they're going to have to extend that zone against Heald, and I don't know if that's enough to limit him. And it's tough to limit Heald and his backcourt Buddy. Isaiah Cousins, especially at the Lloyd Noble Center. In home games this season, those two guys are combining to make 53% of their three-pointers. Now, if OU can force Texas to guard the perimeter, it can open up things in the lane and around the basket for Tayshawn Thomas and Ryan Spangler. The bottom line is that the Sooners are hard to guard. Yes, they are. They average 21.3 transition points per game, and Buddy Heald leads the nation with 7.6 of those points. The Sooners will be looking for the sweep over Texas Tuesday night at 8 on ESPN2. For Wendell Barnhouse, I'm Kristen Keith. Thanks for watching the Big 12 Digital Network.